I don't know if you can see this, but that is my boot. When you've lost your way, go in the direction of the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm, left. I don't know why, but it feels like the river is getting further away. My absolute dream is to have a cabin one day in this sort of environment. Touch wood, my dream does come true. I'm pretty sure it will, but if I don't have a cabin, I can just come and stay here and I'll be very happy. This place encompasses a lot of my favorite things. Tiny Escapes is a lot more than just a place to stay. It really connects you to this place. This has truly reminded me of the power of travel and getting back out into the world and seeing these unique special places. I am way up in the mountains in Cradle Country, central Tasmania. I'm about 20 minutes from Cradle Mountain, which is one of Tasmania's top tourist destinations. We're surrounded by mountains and valleys and the most beautiful flora and fauna, these ferny forests and big trees, and there's a beautiful river and stream at the base. And I'm staying in a tiny house, which is at a property called Tiny Escapes Cradle Valley. There are six cabins. I'm staying in Dogwood Cabin, a tiny house set into the hillside overlooking these beautiful mountains and the Iris River, which you can hear from the cabin in the valley below. Even just to find the location where to put the cabin, like this would have all been forested. They put these roads in. To even find that, like you, you're talking real surveying and pioneering entrepreneurial spirit to want to get in here and create this, this would not have been an easy feat. And to create what they have, uh, they have done a phenomenal job. If you're looking for a private getaway in the Tasmanian wilderness with no one around, anyway, Total privacy, you get the point. You come down this private driveway, the first thing that hits you is the stunning view. The view from this cabin out across the valley and the hills is phenomenal. To the left, you have an outdoor fire pit area. You've got everything in here you need to start the fire. Not only that, you've got everything that you need to actually cook on the campfire. Campfire cooking is so much fun. They've got this big iron L-shaped rod which swivels so that you can put a billy or a kettle or a pot on this piece of metal and swing it across the fire and cook straight over the fire. If you need some inspiration for campfire cooking, go and check out Gile Estate on Instagram. These guys have a luxury collection of cabins coming soon and they've got so many reels and TikToks and things showing you what you can do and it's really incredible cooking straight on the coals of the fire. If you're enjoying this video and you're getting value from it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So the cabin is just to the right. This is another foundation tiny house. It has a beautiful red timber on the outside and you head round the back of the cabin, you've got this private little pathway. It's through a little canopy of, of green and moss and, and trees. To get into your tiny house, you've got electronic key code access. Enter the code and in you go. Initially, I thought this was a tiny house on a trailer, but it's actually not. It's on a foundation and you just get that little bit extra of room bumped out width-wise, which gives this place a beautiful sense of spaciousness. These cabins are off-grid. A lot of the times when you think off-grid, you think, oh, you know, it's kind of difficult or hard, but this place is luxe. It's like a craftsman luxury, I'd say. Inside here you have a full kitchen, so you've got an oven, a bench top, um, this really neat fridge, which is really cute. Everything that you need to be able to cook full meal. The owners, they supply tea and coffee, some nice little biscuits, Tim Tams. You also get supplied some beautiful coffee and fresh milk. With a view as good as this, why wouldn't you have this much glass? So you've got these floor to ceiling windows in the corner of the tiny house which basically gives you a 150 degree view you can see what's happening out at the fire pit right across to the view and of course the front door is glass as well so you get this really panoramic view of the valley from anywhere inside the tiny house 
You've got a fold-out sofa bed in here as well. You've got this lovely dining table. There's really great storage here, which is a bench to sit on, but also doubles as storage. Next to the kitchen, you have some overhead cabinetry, beautiful down lights, and this is where you'll see your towels and your bathroom supplies. You've also got some great games in here as well. Getting up into this loft is super easy. Sometimes in tiny houses, access to your loft can be a little bit tight. They've done a really good job here. You've sacrificed a little bit of room inside the bathroom to create the stair access, but it doesn't really take away from the bathroom. Everything in the bathroom is there still. A really large shower in here, nice vanity, beautiful sumptuous soft towels up and then turn right and then you come up into your loft where you've got a queen size bed. I love tiny house lofts that have skylights. This one is no exception. Really nice feature up here. They've got cupboards, storage, and PowerPoints. You've also got up here a spare pillow, a spare miniature heater if you need it, a blanket, and a speaker. The bed was super comfortable, and this little space looking out at the roof. The roof in this place is really unique. There's two different pitches for two sections of the roof, and it's just quite interesting to look at. I don't know if that's just a design feature, but it looks really cool. Heating at the property is supplied via a diesel heater. These guys have sold me on this heating as an option because if you're staying here, you're gonna be out, you're gonna go hiking at Cradle Mountain most likely, flick of a switch, 15 minutes later, it's cranking, and it mimics the heat of a fire. You don't get the visual of the flame, but I think from a practicality standpoint, I think it's a really smart move. From a livability standpoint, this tiny house has everything that you would need except a laundry. The property has a beautiful leather binder. Usually these manuals are boring to read through, but I actually found myself enjoying reading everything in, in this booklet that was so beautifully laid out and they have things about the history and the site. One thing that wasn't listed in the book, don't leave your boots outside. And I was getting ready to leave and my boots were gone. My Blunstons, which were at the back door. And initially I was like, oh my God, someone's come and stolen my boots. Like I didn't get robbed. Well, I did, but it was by a possum, I believe. Thank goodness. That little black dot. That is my other boot. Glad that I found them. These are Blunstons, mate. Tasmanian Blunstons. So that wraps up my stay here. Thank you so much to the owners. The place is called Tiny Escapes Cradle Valley. I'll leave all the information in the link down below and uh, feel free to tell them that Benny b, &B sent you. Don't say that. Just wait for this car to go past. I reckon that's housekeeping. A diesel flame heater.